What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to work with GPS Neo 6M module, like the one you see here, and of course with the help of TFT display ST7735, we will making a beautiful user interface for it. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and providing me with the PCB for this project. Through the link in the description, you can go to the PCBWay website and order high quality PCBs at the reasonable price for your project in the shortest time possible. Well, first of all, let's see how this project works. This is actually showing my location, so in order to show the complete steps, I have to disable the GPS module, that's why all the values are on zero. In the first step, the device starts searching for the desired satellite. Next, it will show us the number of available satellite, and finally, if everything goes well, we will receive the desired information, like a speed and location. In this project, we will use GPS Neo 6M, ESP32 and a TFT display. For the connection between GPS module and ESP32, if you look at the code, you can see I choose GPIO 34 and 35. Also, you can find the other schematic like TFT LCD on my GitHub and website. I put the link in the description down below. Let's take a look at the full schematic and PCB which I did in Altium Designer. As you can see, it's simple. At this stage, it's like a prototype for me. I just work with the modules. Of course, like the last project, another Fox, I also add a TP4056 for the battery charger. Don't forget that the Altium Designer is not the only software that you can use to do PCB design. There are many other free to use software like KiCad. In PCB view, you can see that it's not something fancy just something that works. I also add a few other parts to the project for future uses, like three micro switches, which are can be helpful for menu navigation, two antenna, which we can connect to the Wi-Fi module and an OLED display. Now, let me tell you about the problem that I had with the GPS module. Do you see that little blue LED which blinks? I call that the Joy LED. Seriously, if you work with this module, you get what I'm talking about. The LED means everything is good, our GPS module is working, satellite are detected, and we have some output data. But if it did not blink, it can be a few things that cause this. For me, the first use, I did all the connection, uploaded the code, and it takes a few hours to LED start blinking. My guess is that the little battery, according to the internet, is responsible for the built-in RTC in GPS No 6M. And if RTC did not work, you won't get the GPS data. Also, testing the module in outdoor could be helpful. Let's take a look at the codes. At the first part, I add needle library for GPS and TFT LCD. And then... I added some custom fonts. You can find other fonts on other fruit website as I have shown you. The next part that I think is good to talk about is how I add those little icons and pictures to my project. Well, it's easy. You just need some simple picture with white background and with the help of this website, we convert them to bitmap. Also pay attention to the size of your desired icons, for example, mine was 50 by 50. This part of the code is flow of how it will act and show us the data. First, if our GPS module is working, the following code will be shown. I add my satellite icon with my text and the function that shows us the number of detected satellites. After 5 seconds, we will see the data that we need, which are altitude, latitude, longitude, and speed. And at last, if our microcontroller didn't get any response from the GPS module, following text and picture will be shown. And that's it. Thanks for watching. 
I hope it will be useful for you. The code and the schematic is available on my website and GitHub. And I see you in the next video.